There have been many intercepts between Russian and US or NATO planes in recent times, but this is probably the most high-profile one. As per reports, Russian Su-27 drove off Spanish NATO F-18 fighter when it tried to approach Tu-214 carrying the Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. The incident was made public by Russian state news network TASS correspondent who was on board the plane carrying Mr. Shoigu. Shoigu's plane was returning to Moscow from Kaliningrad. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes Russian Su-27 jet chasing away NATO F-18 from Defense Minister's aircraft. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The incident happened over international waters off the Baltic Sea. Mr. Shoigu's plane was escorted by two Su-27 fighter jets. As per reports, Spanish F-18s from NATO's Baltic Air Policing Mission were scrambled to identify the aircraft. Video footage of the event, published by Russia's Defense Ministry, shows the Su-27 making a sharp turn into the F-18 causing it to move away from the Tu-214 trajectory. Viewers can check the video from the link provided in the description section below. According to NATO spokesperson Oana Lunguscu, the two escorting Su-27s were without a valid flight plan and were flying with their transponders switched off. F-18s were scrambled to identify and monitor the planes at a safe distance. But one of the Russian fighters conducted an unsafe maneuver, cutting into the flight path of one of the NATO jets. She further stated that NATO had no prior knowledge of who was aboard Shoigu's Tu-214, which was flying close to Allied airspace. The Tupolev Tu-214 carrying Russian Defense Minister is a twin-engine, medium-range jet airliner capable of carrying 210 passengers, designed by Tupolev and produced by Aviastar SP and Kazan Aircraft Production Association. It was first introduced in 1989 and it is intended to be broadly equivalent of the Boeing 757. F-18 is a twin-engine, supersonic, all-weather, carrier-capable, fourth-generation, multi-role fighter aircraft. It was introduced on the 1st of July 1984. It has a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 and has a range of 1,253 miles or 2,017 kilometers. F-18 has a payload of 7,700 kilograms, that's 17,000 pounds, and can carry ground attack weapons as well as air-to-air -air missiles. For air-to-air -air role, it can carry missiles like AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-7 Sparrow, ASRAM, IRIS T, and AIM 120 AMRAM. It carries one 20 mm M61A1 Vulcan nose mounted six barrel rotary cannon having 578 rounds. The Su 27 is a Soviet origin twin engine super maneuverable fighter aircraft designed by Sukhoi. It was introduced on the 22nd of June 1985. It has a maximum speed of Mach 2 and has a range of 2,193 miles or 3,530 kilometers. Su-27 has a payload of 6,000 kilograms, that's about 12,000 pounds, and can carry ground attack weapons as well as air-to-air -air missiles. For air-to-air -air role, it can carry missiles like R-27 and R-73. It carries one 30-millimeter Grayazev Shipunov GSH-31 autocannon with 150 rounds. 
F-18 and Su-27 are both fourth-generation fighters. Well-known Russian analyst Alexei Leonkov has commented that since Shoigu's Tu-214 had its transponder on, so NATO didn't have any valid reason to approach the plane. Another Russian, Igor Korchenko, stated that it was difficult to judge whether they knew or didn't know that it was the defense minister's plane, but adds that the Su-27 pilot's actions were absolutely legitimate under international law. He stated further it was the NATO pilot who attempted to flex his muscles. It's unclear which side's version is closer to the actual truth. Interceptions are routine when it comes to Baltic airspace. In recent times, these have increased with Russia taking a more assertive approach. It's important that any of these incidents don't get out of hand and result in hostility. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.